Hey, good morning everyone. Today is the first morning here in the Bangkok. It's completely white and if something goes here and there they will paint again and make it white. And these things opens up in the morning. I don't know what is wrong with this one. So this is the place where we are staying. It's called Ban Khachit Pan. I can't pronounce it properly, but it's a really a nice place. So here we are walking through the street. Look at this. We are in yeah. Bangkok, which was how it was hundred years ago. So now we got this tuk tuk immediately after came out of the hotel. So we are already here. It took like not five minutes even. So 200 also was a lot for that much distance. But we were four people, so it's all right. Here you see, that's the entry. You can go inside with loose and full body clothes. So now we are inside the palace, and uh, look at this temple here. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful the way it's taken care of. Just like everywhere else, you have to take entry ticket from here, which is around 500 baht. The moment you enter inside and then you see the combination of the colors, statues and paintings, it was just breathtaking. What was really interesting for me was, there was the whole Ramayana was shown on the walls with the help of murals. Then as you move further, it gets more and more beautiful. More beautiful statues, temples and the whole feeling there, so peaceful. The main temple of the Grand Royal Palace and that was the temple dedicated to Buddha. Many stories on the big walls of that temple were shown with the help of murals and there were so many statues of Buddha of golden color. Feeling inside was just, I cannot explain it. So there you cannot film, you can sit peacefully there as long as you want and it was really a great experience. We are still inside the Grand Royal Palace, which is really grand. With so much devotion and care, they are managing this place. For a long time, we just kept going around and then we came around this small miniature temple, which was which is small form of this Angkor Wat temple somewhere in Cambodia, which is biggest temple in the whole world. The way they made this thing, amazing. You are paying 500 baht, which is or more than little more than 1000 rupees or like 6 euros. I am telling you, it's completely worth it. It is so big that sometimes I didn't even know now which way to go and how much more is left. And once you are there, you will literally feel like what Thailand really is and how it was and how people used to live. If you are coming to Thailand and you don't visit this place, you missed something really. So we finished the tour now. So how was your experience? What do you think? It was worth it? Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's pretty big. I, so if you take two, three hours, it's, you can spend more also. <laughs> we didn't went to that museum there. I think there was a museum we didn't see. But it's very beautiful if you're in Bangkok, you want to do some sightseeing. It's very nice. Now we are going to Chinatown, a little away. And the second we stand here, we got a taxi who is ready to take us Again in 200 baht. So now we are entering the Chinatown. The sideways are really thin. There is a whole market on the footpath. And by the evening, I think it will be all gone. There are so many people in this place, so many people, so many shops, but still this place is so clean. So now here we are in the Chinatown. Inside Chinatown, there is a shop which is more popular for fried and steamed food. They have a lot of fried food. 
look at the size of this coconut <laughs> the uh, biggest i have seen in india is half of this coconut and water is full till the top it's like <laughs> must be minimum 1 liter of water there is a lot more to do in chinatown there are so many different type of shops you can buy stuff there and just going around is such experience so we just finished having food in the chinatown here it was really different food so many different type of uh, momos were there and uh, i enjoyed the food but then we decided to go back and instead of taking a taxi or tuk tuk we decided to walk and it was totally worth it just like this the tour is over <laughs> we came walking from the chinatown till here that's the street in which we are staying there is a university or a big university nearby and that's where this uh, huge program is happening the whole walk was interesting this is the third morning here in the bangkok so weather is really awesome because it's just raining every day here i have already told you how awesome this place is there is a diary in which they record the response of the people who stayed with them in which we also gave our response and which was awesome and we finished having breakfast and to our surprise she gave all of us not all of us all of them <laughs> yeah, yeah. this purse yeah, which was completely unexpected right after yeah, the breakfast it's the first time i've had a present are you happy it. i'm very happy i'm very happy <laughs> i'm going to try and fill it now <laughs> all things aside today we are going to the floating markets if you like food which everybody do you should not miss this place so <laughs> there is a funny thing happened we told tuk tuk guy that uh, we want to go to the floating market yes. and this guy bring us somewhere here where we can go to the floating market with the boat yeah it's there is no issue with going with the boat also it will be a nice experience but this is not what we planned and uh, he brought us there most probably they will charge a lot and it don't feel good when somebody say something and do something else so we decided to take another auto who took us directly to the floating market finally on the right place there is the floating market there is such a variety of the food i have never seen until now like half like 90% of the food which is here i haven't seen <laughs> and not just food there are all type of things here and floating market is further ahead i think food is the main part of this place but it's not just food you will get such a variety of things to buy there so much jewelry so many homemade things it's just a experience just by being there and then there is this boards in which people are selling this different type of dishes one of them was mango and sticky rice which i like most sabi what you bought sticker from this lady <laughs> she has so cute things look and <laughs> even at the center of the river there is this half floating restaurant where different vendors at the banks are selling their stuff and in the middle there is this place to eat what do you order what do you think about this place i love it what do you like about it and what is there it's so like uh, exotic no so many things i don't know the thai people have really nice cuisine i love it So it is a restaurant also and then beside it there is a this pier from where you can take the boat and go to other places. Well here is the history how started in 1987 and then in 1999 it became like this the way it is there is a boating trip also which takes you from here to go to some really nice places but the last boat goes at 3:30 which goes now is full but you when you come you be prepared and don't forget to do this one because they will take you some other really nice places around here so 
So we are out again in the Thailand and it's raining heavily here from last two hours. Today we are going to the mango restaurant which is a vegan restaurant with Sara. Well, the second you enter the restaurant, you will really just like the vibe there because the, the way they have managed the restaurant and so much stuff, you will spend some time just looking around. The restaurant was completely full. Luckily, we got spot for three people. So this place is really close to the Kaosang Road which is popular for its nightlife. All type of stuff happens there. A lot of fried food and uh, the whole road is like a DJ itself. It's very loud music. It means a lot of things are happening there. Many things to buy. So if you are into this type of stuff, you can visit that place. But this is our last night here in Bangkok but not in Thailand. Soon we are going to an island. I don't know how to describe it. Sabina have gone there. The way she tells about it, you don't want to miss that island. But very soon we will know about it. That island is more close to the nature and really opposite of what you see in the Bangkok. A different type of beauty. Also, it's one of the most popular place to do scuba diving because aquatic life there is just amazing. Mm -hmm. 